Hello, and welcome back to our series on how to create a custom theme from scratch using the Builder Pro plugin from Themify. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create a custom post archive page. Now, for the Builder Pro plugin to work, you will need to have either the standard Builder plugin installed or simply use any theme from Themify. For this tutorial, I'm still using the Ultra theme from Themify. Let's go ahead and get started. From our dashboard, we're going to come over here to Themify Ultra and choose Pro Templates. Then we're going to click on Add New. Make sure we choose Archive as the type. And we're going to add some display conditions. We're going to choose Date Archive, Author Archive, and Search Results. This way, if a user clicks on a date to view all the posts published on that date, or if they click on an author to see all the posts published by that author, or if they use the search function of your website, all of those archive pages will be displayed using this template that we're about to create. Don't forget to give your template a name and click Next. We're going to choose blank because we'll be creating this from scratch. So go ahead and click Publish. OK, first things first, we need a title. Let's click on the green plus sign and choose Archive Title and bring that up here to our row. Next, we'll click the green plus again. And this time, we'll choose the Archive Post widget and bring that in underneath our title. And we'll click Done. Now, if we look back at our template, you'll see that all of our headings are black. All of our text paragraphs are a grayish color. We have the Playfair display font for the headings. And we have a font called Judson for the paragraphs. We also have a little bit of a box shadow around each card. So let's go back to our custom archive post and add this styling. We'll click the pencil to edit. We'll go to Styling. And I'm going to click on Title. And we'll start with the easy stuff first. For the font, we need Playfair Display. There we go. And we want the color to be black. Perfect. Now, it looks like we already have the gray color for our paragraphs. But we do still need to change the font. So. We'll go to Styling. We'll choose Content. And for the font, we're going to find a font called Judson. There it is. Perfect. We also want to give this same font to the metadata. There we go. And for the date as well. OK, now I think this looks a little bit small. Let's check our template one more time. It looks like our content is 17 pixels. So we'll click on the pencil, go back to styling. We'll start with the metadata and make it 17 pixels. Then we'll do the same for the date and the content. Perfect. Let's check back in on our template. So our headings are a little smaller. There's no underline when we hover, and they turn gray when we hover. So let's do that with our custom theme as well. We'll click the pencil again, styling, title, and for link, we're going to choose Text Decoration None. For the hover, we want to use this gray color. And for the font size, let's try 25 pixels. We'll click Done and test it out. Very good. No more underline, and it turns gray when we hover. Now, if you notice on our template, we don't have a lot of metadata here. We only have a date. So how do we do that? Well, 
We'll click the pencil again, and we'll scroll down a little bit to this section. And for post meta, we'll turn that off. Now we just have the heading, the date, and the content. Perfect. We're getting pretty close to being done with this one, but there's just a few more things we need to do. First, let's make sure we've enabled the masonry layout. And then let's add the box shadow to our cards. To do that, we'll go to the styling tab and we'll choose container. And we'll go to the shadow section and I'm just gonna give it a blur of 15 pixels. And then maybe I'll take the transparency down on the shadow a little bit. And you can customize this to your liking. I like a nice subtle shadow. There we go. Now, as you can see, we're going to need to put a little padding on the edges because our text is right up to the edge of the cards. And we also probably want to add a little bit of padding above the content to separate it from the date a little bit. So we'll go back to styling and container. And for padding, I'm going to add, let's try 10 pixels on the left and 10 pixels on the right. As you can see, this also adds padding around our image. We don't want that. So let's go back and undo that. Container, padding. And what we want to do is add the padding to the content section only. So let's go back into here and choose content, go to padding, and try adding our padding there. Perfect. OK, now how do we add a little bit of space above the content? Well, we'll go to the pencil, styling, content. And for this, we'll go back into padding. And we'll just add a little bit of padding on top. Let's try 10 pixels, maybe 15 pixels. Perfect. I'll click Save, click the X. And we'll see how this looks on the front end. Let's try one of our categories like photography. This looks really good, but there's still one more thing we need to do. We need to style our heading. Let's go ahead and click on Edit Template. We'll click the pencil for the archive title and go to Styling. For font, we want Playfair Display. We're going to make the color black, 38 pixels, centered, and we need to give it some padding. So let's go to padding, and let's try 30 pixels on top and 30 pixels on bottom. I'm going to save that and check it out. Very nice. I might add a little more padding on top and on bottom. But otherwise, this looks really good. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.